essentially what we were looking at is patients receiving neoadjuvant therapy prior to surgery for high-risk prostate cancer. Now this is not a standard of care at this time. We have done many trials led um, at Dana-Farber really by one of my mentors Dr. Taplin looking at neoadjuvant therapy with uh, drugs like androgen receptor pathway inhibitors prior to surgery and high-risk disease. Five of these trials have been done and we pulled together the patients here, it's about 200 odd patients, to look at the long-term outcomes from these patients, uh, from these series of trials, to look A, at what the long-term outcomes were in terms of metastasis-free survival, which we know is a surrogate for overall survival in this situation, because earlier on, so far, we've only really reported early endpoints like pathologic outcomes. And the second rationale was to see if residual disease at surgery was prognostic for longer term outcomes. So we had 218 patients treated on these five randomized, five trials, neoadjuvant trials, and the median follow-up was around five years. And we looked at you know, these patients who received drugs like abiraterol, enzalutamide, apalutamide, or combinations of these uh, for about six months prior to surgery. And all patients had central pathology review to look at what the extent of residual disease was, if there was any, was there a pathologic complete response, how much residual disease there was. And we computed a residual cancer burden, which is similar to what uh, breast cancer patients have computed after neoadjuvant chemotherapy in breast cancer. So we looked at residual cancer burden in these patients and then we followed out these patients what their long-term outcomes were in terms of metastasis-free survival, i.e. patients who developed a metastasis or died of disease after surgery.